Good morning, Year 9. Good morning, Mr. O'Donoghue. Thank you. Now, I'm really excited. I want to tell you all about Hack to the Future, which is happening very soon in our school. Now, there's a few things I want to point to you about, and I want to say about why Hack to the Future is happening. So if you can look in this way, the UK used to be known as the number one place in the world for creating computers. They were the first country to come up with different types of computers. And also, for the last 20 years or so, lots of people have come to the UK to have games created, software, and our country has been known for this thing. But people say now that what's happening is people are no longer studying these things in the UK. They're not finding out about this. And what's starting to happen is people are going to other countries to, to get computers created and designed and to get games and all this sort of thing. Now, recently we've had some events in our school. We had one that was called Inside the Machine, where people came in, they built things using Arduinos, they hooked themselves up to a computer to play games. We had another event where we had people came after school, they came to design games, they worked with their families, parents, grandparents, and we had such a fantastic time. And lots of people have been saying to me, why can you not do that but bigger, let more people come along? So our next event, which is going to be on Saturday the 11th of February, is called Hack to the Future, and it's going to change all this. It's going to allow more people to find out all about creating games, what software is, what computing science is, why you might want to study it. So it's on Saturday the 11th of February. We're going to have 200 people from all over the Northwest. So, you know, Liverpool, Manchester, Blackpool. Preston, we've even got people come from Birmingham, some from London and some from Wales who are coming to our school on that day to find out about it. It's aged at 11 to 18 year old, so you're all welcome to come. And we'll have 50 people coming along who are not teachers. These are people who, they might be programmers, they are computer scientists, games developers. You'll have heard, if I mention things like Steam, some of you will have heard of those sorts of people that create games. We have a guy coming from the BBC. He creates games for CBBS and CBBC. You've probably even played some of the games he creates. We have an ITV presenter coming along from Cool Stuff Collective. But somebody who's this lady called Colette. She's created this computer you can talk to. It's called a chatbot. You can ask it questions. It'll speak back to you. And we've got loads of geek girls coming along as well. Girls who create, design, program, use software. It's, there's going to be fun, food, lots of free stuff. I've told you we've got lots and lots of sponsorship for this event. We've got people alike. If I show you some of the sponsors, I'll just click on here. Oh, it's got my board dust has fallen off. Oh, gosh. It won't let me... Uh, oh, dear. See? This is what happens when you do live recordings. Okay, if I scroll down to show you, we've got people like Interactive Opportunities, Computing at School, Source, Manchester Girl Geeks, We've got a games company as well that I'm going to tell you soon who they are. And they're really, really helping this thing to happen. It's going to be fantastic and fabulous. Why is it called Hack to the Future? Right. The reason why it's called Hack to the Future is because I've been meeting people who are like the same age as me. Maybe 30, 40, 50 years old. I'm 40. And they're telling me that they wished when they were at school, somebody had said to them, study computing science, learn how to program. Think about designing games, think about creating games, because it's fantastic opportunities. So, hope to see you all as Hack to the Future on the website. If you want to sign up for tickets, it's h2df, that's our hashtag on Twitter, dot eventbrite.co.uk.